Welcome to another Universal Update and an old school song I haven't heard in a while. Now when I hear this song I think of Gump instead of Lump. First, let's go into Voodoo Donut. Well, I like the line, for the lack of a line. So why are we here today? Well, I've already tried the Universal Cream, but though I don't see it here, I'm finally going to try that Raptor Claw. They don't have it, I guess I'll try the Bacon Maple Bar instead. Hard to tell because with the glare, but the uh, the donut is still up there, so it is in the display case up front, though. So you have three options when you buy a donut from Voodoo Donut. I didn't realize this. You can get it in a box, in a bag, or they can just hand it to you on this paper, which I opted for because I'm just going to walk outside and eat it right now. So it's kind of a bag is kind of unnecessary. They will give you a bag or a box if you request it, though, of course. Some donuts get destroyed in a bag, so you probably are better getting a box, but it's more bulky. So, enough waiting around. Let's try this Raptor Claw. Can I survive? I've never really been a big fan of jelly donuts, and this does have jelly in it, but it's not very much, so that works for me. It's a pretty good donut. Don't forget if you have an annual pass to ask for a discount. If you don't have an annual pass, it's not too expensive. But pretty good. All right, before I go any further, I just want to say I'm very sorry that uh, July has become a very, very crazy busy day month for me. And I haven't been doing as many updates as I would like to. But I've recently worked with Mango's Tropical Cafe and produced two videos, which I hope to be posting very, very soon. And uh, just in general, I haven't really been able to get out and do a whole lot of things. So, sorry. Um, I started this channel because my Roddy Paws channel, well, one of the reasons is my Roddy Paws channel videos take a really long time to shoot and edit, and these videos are a little bit faster. Um, I am looking for some ideas to improve my videos, so if you have any channels that you also like to watch that are I can maybe learn some things from, uh, go ahead and post the channel name in the comments. So, let's go into Universal Studios and see what's new there. So I have something exciting to show you. Well, it's exciting for me. I, of course, are shooting from this platform over here, which is my favorite place to shoot the globe. It's out of everyone's way. But before I go, I want to say one other thing, and that is if you turn to your left or my left, you see that the boats are going right now, the water taxis. When there is lightning too close to Universal Orlando, they do suspend operations. Just heads up there. Now we're going to go into Universal Studios. That was a bad idea. It's not much yet, but this is the first sign of the scare zones going in here. Although this is actually not for a scare zone. This is lighting for Halloween Horror Nights. There's a lot of work I've been seeing that I can't show you because it's back of house. You'll have to wait until Halloween Horror Nights and come to Halloween Horror Nights to see that. I'll try to show you some of the houses when they open in September, but for now, I'll show you what I can show you. That didn't make any sense. But first, this is the first time I remember ever seeing this open. Usually it's closed off, I'm not sure why. But this, it's a whole lower deck here near Lombards in San Francisco. Place you can sit over here. I don't know why it's normally closed. You can come over here and look at the ducks. I just swam away when I came over here. You cannot fish here though. Sorry. I didn't come here to shoot this because I didn't think it would be open, but um, I think this is pretty cool. I'm, look at all this space. Nobody's here. They don't know they can be here. So this is still open when you visit. Come out here for a little bit if you have time. It's a pretty neat little area to take a rest, although, yes, I know it's in the sun. Sorry. There was a statue over here. I, I honestly can't remember what it was of, though. Well, this would have been a good place to watch the Cinematic Spectacular back in the day, but long gone now. Wish they would bring back the stunt show over here. This would be a great place to watch the stunt show. If you need a ramp, you can enter on the Lombard side. There's a ramp over here and a ramp over here. The other side has steps. On the other side, over here in the London waterfront, you see another 
piece of truss or truss tower for Halloween Horror Nights. That's the good part. Now the bad part, it is getting closer and closer to Halloween Horror Nights and Fear Factor Live is still here. It will not be torn down before Halloween Horror Nights. And there's still no Bill and Ted. Not happy. It is rumored, and it does make sense, that Academy of Villains will be here in the Fear Factor Live theater this year. So, when if a hurricane comes, it won't blow away their stage this year. Today is July 28th, and you can see a little bit of the smoke from Fear Factor. And I'd say the crowds today are moderate, if you're wondering. Going past Bumblebee Man's tacos, they are kind of expensive, but I think they're really good. Never saw a kiosk outside of the truck before, that's new. A reminder, you can have your picture taken here in front of the DeLorean, or otherwise known as the Back to the Future car. The train is here, but there's no photo, sta no photo station for that. I used to love walking through the Central Park area. It's a really, it was a really nice area, but now it's closed off during the day. It's only open at 8 p.m. for the cinematic celebration. And they put a lot of concrete. This was, used to be the best service dog area in any theme park I've been in. Now they moved it to another area I'll show you in a moment. But just like Volcano Bay, not quite finished yet. And I've been working on it for months. It is safe, but they, they have some work to do. Wimpy's is now open, but the Universal Studios Kid Zone Pizza Company, even in the summer, still not open. This is one of the many modifications they've made. This gate is new. It goes up to some stairs for a viewing area, not the one I would recommend. But this is closed because they're not but finished with it because they still have that cord going across. So you cannot enter through this way right now. And also, all the lights are very temporary. It looks like Halloween Horror Nights lighting, so hopefully they'll make that look better at some point. But the show is, is pretty good. Time for a sea show and a really old song. See, this trust tower is part of the cinematic celebration. It's supposed to be permanent, I'm um, not sure, but... Now this trust tower looks very similar. This is for Halloween Horror Nights, temporary. Oh, did I say Halloween Horror Nights? Let's step into the prop shop to the permanent Halloween Horror Nights room, which is awesome. Is this your mummy? I know, it's not really a mummy, it's a corpse. There's Chance, of course. There's a mummy. Psycho Scarapy, Maximum Madness. That's from a few years ago. That is all the way back from Sweet 16, Halloween Horror Nights 16. That is $600. Not sure why it's still around here, but there it is. Wow, my, what big hands you have. Oh, look at Chance. She looks so sad that she's still here. Now this, it says Halloween Horror Nights 1 half. Which, um, is interesting, but apparently it's been seen in multiple scare zones. This is from the former Triceratops encounter area. I think I might have showed you this before. But, there are some new developments, but there are some new developments in that area. Uh, I can't really say what, because I'm not sure. But uh, for something interesting in the future over there. That's all. This is partly why I realized it's time for an update. There's now a store for the cinematic celebration. They really do treat it like an, an attraction, which is interesting. Heads up, it says cinematic celebration store, but it's actually merchandise from the movies featured in the Cinemax Celebration. So if you're coming here thinking you're going to get a t-shirt or something specifically for the show, no. But here's Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, which are, well, it's really Jurassic World that's in the, in the nighttime show. $21.95 for this. This is also part of the new nighttime show. As well as Secret Life of Pets. E.T. Is, is actually in the new show as well. Uh, this guy, thankfully not featured in the show. It's a little bit of Secret Life of Pets, but this I think was here before. There is a brief moment of the trolls in the show as well. If you've watched my video of the show, this is, well, you can see that one. That is 1999. Don't forget, if you have an annual pass, you do get a discount. And of course the Minions. So that's a look around in the renamed cinematic 
celebration store. I have to stop myself because I want to say cinematic spectacular because it sounds so close to celebration, but it's now called the cinematic celebration. It is a Saturday and Schwab's is closed. That's interesting. It had been open early in the summer. Brief look at the wait times. In the summer right now, both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure closes at 10 o'clock every evening. And, uh, and the Volcano Bay closes at 9 p.m. Usually reserved for Halloween Horror Nights under this co cover shows the details for Deal or No Deal, which is being recorded here in Universal Studios this summer. The tickets are gone, but I believe there is a standby queue. I might go see the show and tell you guys about it, but being that it's a show, I won't be able to shoot any video or photos of it. And the final thing I'm going to show you is another trust tower near the New York Public Library. It's also for Halloween Horror Nights. It'll light up the way to the houses that will be back here. Everything else, like I said, is back of house. But there will be more updates coming. And here is the site of the former lockers for the Revenge of the Mummy ride. It looks like there used to be an outdoor queue here at one point. But being this is where the lockers were, it might be as far back as Confrontation when this park first opened. Well, I have actually not been in here since the renovation, so let's see what it looks like. Looks kind of bland in here. They removed a lot of theming and sold it in the prop shop. For some reason, there's some flashing LEDs up here. There is a pay station where you can pay with coins, bills, or a credit card. You can also pay over here directly by credit card, and you have to scan your pass. So when you get on the ride, make sure you take whatever ticket you have to get in the park with you because you'll need it to open the lockers. The light is green, crap is clean. I mean, light is green, there are lockers available. Right, light is red, you're dead. I mean, light is red, go somewhere else. And of course, if it's amber, it's somewhere in between. And if you're unaware, the Revenge of the Mummy is a high-speed indoor roller coaster. I made the mistake of going on it once, thinking it was a simulator. It is not. Well, this is interesting. I've never even seen this. It used to be blocked by the lockers. Just like the sign is blocked by the column. Unscheduled stop to Starbucks. Here at Universal, we have an ad for a Disney movie. Hmm. Staying with the raptor theme, I just saw that there's a raptor attack, which sounds weird, but I'll try it. Because it says, try one today. So, like I said, also pineapple, because pineapple's tasty. If you are unaware, if you buy something such as fruit, when you pick up a drink, or if you're not picking up a drink, ask for a fork. They're not out with the straws and everything. Just so you know. Here's a real-time reaction, sort of. It's a recorded, but... Interesting. You can see it's a little bit... Screen down below, and it looks like blood. It's pretty good. It's um very neat. Leaves my mouth a little dry, though. I, I got the small just in case. I'm sure the fruit is good. It usually is. <laughs> Good pineapple, it's really good. Cool. But it's very easy for it to be bad. For it to be bad, but this is uh, it's pretty good. So, if you want to try something different when you're here at Universal Studios? I'm sure they have it at Islands Adventure as well and City Walk. Raptor. They did do a nice job of theming out the rest of this area for the projectors for the cinematic celebration. I suspect this will be open soon. I believe this is a multicolor laser projector, which was added after or near the end of the technical rehearsal of the cinematic celebration. And over by Transformers is another area for the projectors, which is now themed out. Time for some super silly stuff. Just want to come in here quickly and show you a few things. This is $24.95. You can squeeze them, but they don't squeak. And look!
There's me. New merchandise, $21.95. Says Universal Studios on the back. And underneath, hi. Looks like a pop vinyl, but it is not. It's a knockoff. This is $17. This is $25. Six month old baby outfit, $24.95. For this one, assemble the minions. I, I can't understand what this could possibly be referring to. And it says that no two shirts are exactly alike. But they are all $35. Wow, that's a lot. They don't sell bananas here, but they do sell gummy bananas. Check out this car magnet. $7.95, but it wouldn't fit on my, it wouldn't work on my car. I have a Prius in the back of a Prius, not a trunk by the way, it's a, it's a lift back. The back of the Prius is not magnetic. So even if you have Express and you want to check out Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, come over here, right by the entrance, and go in the stationary seats. Otherwise known as benches. Now you'll be right next to the screen, but because it's 3D, it's actually not that bad. You don't move, but you, there's no way. Let me clarify, this is the main attraction entrance. What I was talking about is down there towards super silly stuff. There still is Fast and Furious supercharged merchandise out here, but in a few months, this will be all Halloween Horror Nights out here. Of course, the merchandise will still be in the store, it just won't be in the front. $21.95 for this ET. Put a t-shirt on this and it'd be retro grunge ET. Like a Nirvana shirt or a Alice in Chains, maybe. Eh, I'd say AT would be a little more Alice in Chains, I think. Or maybe Sonic Youth? Leave a comment in the section below. What grunge era band do you think ET would jam out to? This is the mini day pack, or I call it a micro backpack, that has a strap or it can go on a belt. Or you can clip it on to a belt loop. I bought one and I use mine all the time. There's a larger version, which is also, I believe, available in black, just not right now. I'm thinking about getting this for when I do freelance. It's $26.95, quite a bit more, but it's quite a bit larger. There's a lot of space in here. There's also a strap, if you want to use it more like a purse. And it has a little snap here and even more organization. Pretty cool, I think I'm gonna upgrade. It's time to exit Universal Studios, but first, if you have rented a wheelchair or a stroller, right over here is where you return it. Of course, you can always go into City Walk or Islands of Adventure if you're not ready to return it, but if you're leaving Universal Studios and you want to return it, that's where you go. Back at Jurassic Outfitters, where there's a little bit of hype for Jurassic World, you know, just a little. I think I've shown you this and in my previous video. But here are the G uh, geosphere vehicles that always get destroyed in the Jurassic World movies. $15 gets you this cup with decorations. Check out these $19 Jurassic World mugs. And if you can, I don't know if you could tell, but they kind of they have a uh, texture to them. Ow! Nothing smarter than a golf ball that blends in with its environment. Because why would you want a white ball, which you can find more easily? Yeah. Next thing they'll do, they'll make it green. This stuff is pretty cool. It's a nice hat for $23.95. It's not that nice. Universal Studios, that island's adventure where the Jurassic Park area actually is. If you're wondering, these don't specify which movie the franchise are from. If it's Jurassic Park or Jurassic World or which series, I guess. Yeah, it's a little crowded in here. Welcome to the Uncanny Valley. Unlike Volcano Bay, shirts are not optional here. Aha, I was trying to show you these before, but they didn't have them in the Universal, uh, uh, Universal Studios store. Here's a camo pink version of it for $28.95. It's a larger version of the backpack I showed you before. This looks like it should hold uh, like a bottle or something, but it's just for decoration. But still a good bag. Here's a view of it open. In the shadow, sorry. I wanted to show you the Jurassic World inspired snacks I've been seeing on Twitter. 
Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to keep looking around for them. Okay, so the answer is Thunder Falls, but unfortunately, I'm sorry, a lot of the stuff is no longer available, but we'll see what's left. Check it out, free water in for some reason. Uh, cucumber water. Uh, I'll try the lemon. <laughs> or have some lemon, thank you. Not cucumber. Uh, here we go, I spotted one of the exclusive treats here in Thunder Falls. Okay, so it's 7.25? 7.25 for this. So unfortunately, that's all I can see right now. There were some more items for Jurassic World. These are limited time items, so they might not be here when you come visit. Skull Island, Reign of Kong, or as we call it here, Ciroc, is 105 minutes. For the regular, of course, not express. Not sure what the wait time is for express. You know those German Shepherds are hot. My Haley wouldn't be able to be out here at this temperature. Most people can't stand this temperature. I like the uh, little... wonder why one has boots and one does not. <laughs> I don't know. It's a 45 minute wait for Spider-Man! Now a quick walk through the confusingly named Universal Studios Ion's Adventure Training Company. Here you can buy books. Boring! <laughs> as long as the guy doesn't say no soup for you, I'm assuming this is for soup, I guess it could be used for cereal. Ooh, and you could drink out of a nice, very, very small spoon though. This is $16.95. I guess you can use it to eat cereal with... Here's something a little retro. It is a novelty item, not a toy. $5.95. It's a slap band. Just like the slap bracelets from the 90s. I would put it on, but my, my arm is sweaty. I'm not going to get it all nasty. Also available in blue. For $29.95, you can get this shirt, which changes colors in the sun. When it's exposed to the sun, it's not the traditional logo with red. That's cool, like a, red and, and yellow. I guess that's cool. And for $39.95, here's an even larger version of the mini backpack. It's so big, it's an actual backpack. Mini version? Or that version, and here's the first one I showed you. Big difference in size. I would not try to put that on your belt. Starting to think this doesn't come in black, which is unfortunate because I want one in black. It does. It is available in black. It is not available here or in the Universal Studios store. Now it's a mission. Next stop is City Walk. Very quick trip to the. City Walk Universal Studios store. However, first, I want to show you this. No idea what that is. Hmm. I wish I could tell you what this is. I honestly don't know. Although there are some lights up here. Looks like they might be using this for something for a change. Nano blocks. Hmm. They're kind of like Legos, but even smaller. For $18.95. Come on, really? Bummer. Water taxi time. Aventura construction update time. It is a few days away from August. August 1st was the original opening date for Aventura. It is, I still believe, is the 16th. That is when Brian and I have reservations at the Aventura Hotel. And we'll be giving you... <laughs> what? And we'll be showing you video from in within the hotel on that day. But for now, here are a few new views wow, of the entrance, which is looking really nice. And of course, you can see, as you'd expect by now, all of the protective film has been removed from the windows. I still have to come here at night to show you inside the rooms. But again, in less than a month, I will be in one of those rooms. Aha, it is just as I suspected. Remember how the sidewalk just kind of ended there? I said. Closer to opening day, the sidewalk is going to be extended past where it stopped. Well, it has been extended. One more look from the parking garage of Sapphire Falls. And maybe we'll go over to Cabana Bay and see from there as well. This is the first time I've seen the fences removed. The fences were here on the opening day of Sapphire Falls. They were already working on this hotel, which I still don't understand the point of this hotel. Why not just make Sapphire Falls larger? I don't know. 
Although this, Sapphire Falls, is a Lowe's Hotel and Aventura is not. Here's another look at the Aventura Hotel. I, I was wrong, there actually is some of that protective covering on this side. But uh, once again, you can't see inside the rooms, but you'll see that view very, very soon. And up here is the, I think it's Bistro 17 bar. And the supposed endless summer resort, because when it's uh, 40 degrees outside in the winter, that's apparently still summer. It is definitely still summer here. And here come the obligatory afternoon thunderstorms. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit through the gift shop. And here's the Sapphire Falls gift shop. Nope. Don't forget, there is an official Orlando Dave gift shop. Just follow the link in the description. Uh, well, hopefully, I can sell a few more shirts and put some more items in there, but so far it has not been very successful. So please visit my actual gift shop and check out the merchandise in there. Nope.